kids, welcome to another Sunday School to Go story video. I'm Pastor Katie, I'm from St. Peter's, and I'm here in the story corner on my couch. It's comfy, I got some blankets, it's starting to get cold, but it's a perfect day, perfect night really, to curl up and read some Bible stories. So I have a story for you. This is the story of Jonah and the big fish. And I have a feeling some of you might already know this story, but that's okay. Cause you know, it's sometimes, in fact, a lot of stories, it's fun to hear them over and over again, even if you already know them. So this is the story of Jonah and the big fish. I'm reading it from the Spark Story Bible, which is published by Augsburg Fortress. All right, here we go. One day, when Jonah was just minding his own business, God spoke to him. God said, Jonah, I want you to go to Nineveh and tell the people that I know they aren't living the way I want them to. I want them to change their ways. Well, Jonah may have started with the right idea, but once he started walking, Jonah began thinking about what a long walk it was to Nineveh. Hmm, Jonah thought, I don't really want to go to Nineveh. I'll go the other way. God will never know. So Jonah walked and walked and walked away from Nineveh. When Jonah got to the sea, he paid to get on a boat to take him even farther away. <sighs> Jonah yawned. <sighs> All that walking made me tired. I'm going to take a nap. Jonah curled up on a pile of rope and fell asleep. But God saw Jonah. Whoosh! God sent a strong wind that tossed the ship to and fro. The sailors were so afraid that they started throwing things overboard to make the boat lighter and save themselves. The sailors worried, what's going on? They woke Jonah up. Well, God is mad at me for not listening, Jonah said. So throw me overboard. And they did. Suddenly the sea was calm again. Look out, Jonah. Here comes a big fish. Gulp, gulp, gulp. The fish swallowed Jonah. And Jonah sat inside the dark, smelly fish for three days and three nights. Pee you! Jonah prayed, Help me, God. I'm sorry. And finally, the fish spit Jonah out on the beach. Poof! But tui! <sighs> trudge, trudge, trudge. Jonah went to Nineveh. He told the people what God had said, and they believed him and changed the way that they were living. God was happy. But now the people of Nineveh were living as God wanted. The end. I gotta show you this picture. That's the picture of Jonah in the whale's mouth. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Oh, there's so many things we can think about that story and what it must have been like to be inside the fish. Oh, wow. You could really get creative with that. So you do have a chance to get creative, actually, because now you have a craft, an activity that connects to Jonah and, yeah, you have an activity that connects to Jonah and the big fish. And I think, if my memory serves me correctly, I think it might be a sign that you can hang on the wall or hang on your door or hang somewhere that you think it might be nice. And, and I, you know, I want to encourage you, think about what it must have been like and you can use that, all the, the craft kit that you've been given to get creative and make it the way that you think it might have looked, the way that you thought it might have all happened, okay? So have fun with that. Think about the story while you do it. 
And again, thank you so much for watching. It's great, great to know that you're out there. So thank you, kids. Take care. Have fun. We'll see you in the next video for Sunday School to Go. Bye.